I have played with Greg Monroe. Um, during the NBA lockout, he came back to Georgetown with a, a few others and um, worked out with us. Um, you know, I talked to him you know, a lot. You know, uh, so we have a connection. Had he given you any advice about this whole process? Um, just enjoy it. You know, that's what he told me. You know, just enjoy the whole process, uh, the NBA Combine, and, um, and just take care of business. Um, I bring excitement. I bring, um, you know, very versatile. I can do many things on the court. Um, and I bring an attitude where you want to win. And um, I bring great character to the team. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I see myself um, continue to play in the NBA and continue to get better. Um, hopefully, um, my team is uh, winning. Um, we're on the winning side of, of the of the league, and um, we're doing great. How much were the Cavs sort of kicking around with you this year? They brought their entire scout in the park to see you. Did you hear a lot of that interest from them? It's kind of surprising. The Cavs? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's interesting, um, you know, just to see that they're not on there. So I guess um, talking with my agent, you know, maybe that's a good thing or maybe that's bad. We don't know yet. Um, but he, he's going to look into that. Was it, were you a little surprised that they're not on your list? Um, actually, no. Um, you know, I had a long talk with my agent, and um, and that was kind of not surprising to me, him either. You know, because I guess they did that before, you know, and he told me that they really wanted to. Um, that could be a great possibility. What are your thoughts? Or what do you, when people are talking about this draft and the relative strength or lack of strength of it. What goes through your mind when you see the criticism of this draft class? Um, this draft class, um, like I said, they say that there's n there's no Kevin Durant, there's no LeBron James, so there's a, a big window open. You know, many guys are working out, you know, trying to, you know, showcase their talents to the teams. You know, um, and it's just another opportunity for you to get better and work harder. What do you think about the possibility of playing for the Washington team? The fact that you know, played Georgetown, and obviously, you know, um. I mean, to play with John Wall and Brad Bill, you know. Um, I mean, it's close to home. It's in D.C. Um, you know, the fan base is there already. Um, you know, not that far from Georgetown. Uh, where I can work out a lot. And, um, and that connection is there um, with Wichita. I mean, and to play where I played at, you know, being, you know, Georgetown, playing in, in the Washington Wizards facility, um, you know, I kind of have an advantage playing there. Who's your schedule to talk to? Um, I don't know. I have to see, really. I don't, I don't know. Would you be disappointed? Would you be glad or happy to see that you are on the list that you're interested in speaking Definitely. Is there anybody you think you play like or you're trying to play like? That's in the league right now, yeah. currently. Um, yeah, uh, Taysom Prince is a good example that I want to, you know, uh, take my game out there. You know, long, lanky, can do multiple things on the court, can defend. Um, and it's a kind of a glue guy, you know. So, how, how are you able to process obviously the early exit in the NCAA tournament, and how is that motivating you during this process? Um, it has helped, you know. Um, you know, obviously you can get better each and every day. You know, um, obviously we didn't play our best game in my last game, and I wanted to, you know, come from there, you know, learn from my mistakes and things like that, and get better. Oh, definitely, definitely. What was that like? Uh, I know your dad was against the um, I mean, actually, he came to one of our games. Uh, we played in St. Louis, and um, and I had a few people that talked to him, and he came up to me, you know, just talking. He really wasn't trying to recruit me, but just getting to know me, um, things like that. Um, you know, we became close friends. Um, I mean, was it a high school game you came to? Uh, this was a high school game, yeah. Um, actually, not really. I guess he was always traveling and stuff. You know, I was always traveling, so not really. If you didn't go the AAU route, how do you feel that distinguishes you from maybe wrestling guys? Uh, I think it was an advantage for me, um, staying home and working on my skill a lot more. And, um, you know, just being, you know, disciplined, you know, uh, with my dad helping me uh, work out and things like that, just getting better and getting stronger. And, um, and I just went with that. Uh, 
Um, that's probably the only thing, just the height, you know, and to have my name already out there for coaches to, you know, hear my name and see me play. But when you made the, that decision, was that more you not wanting to go that route, or maybe your family giving you some input? Uh, it was more me um, not wanting to go that route. You know, I had cousins, you know, that play, and friends that play AU. And, um, and I figured that, you know, I can you know, just stay home and work on my game. You know, and, um, and the exposure will come later, you know, once teams see that I can play and see that I have talent.